So this is a tutorial on how to make an external antenna for your foil drive. This is the antenna that you want to buy from Amazon and I will put a link in the article and also on YouTube. I think this is the brand but I don't believe it's going to really matter. There are probably the different ones that you get all the time but basically it just needs to be flat a little bit of sticky on the bottom so this flat type antenna I'm just going to point out right here that there's a little hole right here that we're going to seal later on and this one comes with an attachment like this and actually that's the inner wire that you need to use in the end, but we're not going to use this attachment. So this is the board and what we're going to do is attach this to the front in this area. Now my board has an internal port to go through to get to the back, but if you don't have that, don't worry about it. You can run up along the side either this way or the other way and usually I keep it like this if I'm doing to the side and then what you want to do is run it to the length of where you're going to put the wire. So for me, I'll run it here, come out through this way and give myself a little bit of extra slack because the, the antenna is right over here in the foil drive box so I want it to run to at least here but when I take the box in and out I want to have a little bit of slack so I'm going to give it a little bit of extra so that I can stuff it in the box and it'll still be able to go out so I'm going to cut mine to right about here maybe a little better to do extra so you have a spare if you mess up so as you can see I've cut off the tip and I've run it down in through my board and if you have a full drive board by Kings you'll be able to get this and then it comes out right at this little hole right here so it's inside the box and will be underneath when I put the plate on top again I'm going to take here and I think it's just a good idea to triple it and cut the wire right here and get rid of the excess wire. So on this, you can see, if I can get it to focus, maybe not. That it has the inner and outer wire. I'll try and get that more focused. Okay, so here, you can see that there's an outer sheath and an inner sheath and that little tiny dot in the center is actually the antenna that you want to have exposed. You need about an inch and a half. I don't think the exact thing matters, but about an inch and a half is standard exposed and that will be able to communicate with the inner antenna of the foil drive box. So what you want to do is get the smaller of the wire. Again, you have about an inch and a half. And you just want to get that outer sheath off. You're not trying to get the inner sheath off. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, so here I'm getting it partially out and you can see the silver right there. I mean the copper. And that's what you want to get rid of in the end but it's a little bit difficult but here we go okay so I did it so let's put it in the background so you can see that there's the copper wire there in the strands but there's an inner wire that has a plastic sheath around it that's exactly what you want exposed for the antenna 
and you want to get all these fine little wires off. I use a cuticle clipper because it will get all these little wires off. Kind of hard to do on video. But you just want to try and clip them down as much as possible. Don't leave any there because those are going to corrode kind of thing. What I would say is if you look at this fine detail, that's why I use this, because you don't want any of those wires sticking out too far because if they're sticking out past the plastic coating that you're going to put on, then they're going to corrode and just go through the plastic and defeat what you wanted to do. Although if this part of the wire corrodes, it's not a big deal. <clears throat> but if it does corrode, it'll leak. Actually, I'll take that back. It is a big deal because it'll leak the signal. So I've had that outer sheath that's on there corrode. And then the signal gets out of the wire and doesn't make it to this point just to transmit to the box and back. So you kind of want to make sure that those little ones are gone. Just kind of looks pretty good. There's one. Not very coordinated with this. Okay, this is the waterproofing that I use, the Gorilla Crystal Clear. I guess you could use any plastic dip. And what I do is I'll just take the tip like this and just dip it in. Go past it as far as you want and just bring it up. Just got to let it drip out. And then I let it hang. And even if it has a little bit of a thing on the end, it's actually good because it's sealing the, um, the tip, which is the most important thing to do. So I just let that sit and it'll form a nice nice symmetric coating over it that helps with the waterproofing of that tip. You don't want that tip to get wet because it'll rust right away, corrode, and then you'll lose signal. So that's one of the keys. So over this part, I take a syringe, but I guess you could find something else. But I have access to a little syringe and I take a little bit of this and then I'll just kind of put it on the tip here to let it go into that hole and let it drain into that hole and kind of more waterproof that. This isn't really designed to be waterproof but Putting it on there will help it out. And then I just let it hang. So here's the finished product. You can see that there's a little bit of glue in there. It goes in this board. This is a magic board and I have my King's board, which is brand new. And it comes through the deck and out that little hole in there. And then basically what I do is tape it to the box like this. And here's the finished one that you can see. It's just got the plastic on it and it sits right on there and I just tape it down with duct tape like this. And then inside is the antenna right there and it just sits right against the antenna.